Hello everyone, welcome to M-Class Lesson 2. I'm Jack. M-Class will guide you from beginner to expert. In the last lesson, we built the overall map. Today, we'll only answer one question. Why can blockchain achieve consensus on the same transaction across the entire network without a central authority? The core lies in three things online. The entire network jointly maintains a shared ledger, a consensus algorithm selects the bookkeeper from among numerous nodes, and multiple confirmations continuously increase the cost of writing to history. Understanding the relationship between these three steps will allow you to see the complete path from submitting a transaction to irreversibility and also help you understand why different public chains make different trade-offs in security and performance. First, consider the decentralized ledger. Each node holds a copy of the ledger and verifies it independently, making single point tampering difficult. Next, consider consensus and block generation. POW relies on competition for computing power, while POS relies on stake and penalty constraints. Regardless of the different paths, the goal is to select a trustworthy ledger keeper and generate a new block within the same time window. Finally, consider confirmation and security. New blocks are stacked like bricks. The higher the block, the more work an attacker must redo, or the larger the stake to roll back. Under the dual constraints of economics and engineering, history gradually approaches finality. This statement becomes clearer when broken down. First, consensus solves the problem of who has the right to record transactions and constrains the quality of record keeping through rewards and penalties. Second, a shared ledger solves the problem of propagation and verification of whether the entire network sees the same fact, with any non-compliant block being rejected by a majority of nodes. Third, multiple confirmations address the time dimension issue of whether history is reliable, with higher confirmation counts increasing the cost of overturning history, naturally leading to a game equilibrium that favors honest behavior. These three layers interlock to form the minimum closed loop for the trusted operation of a blockchain. Imagine the execution path as a line. Nodes first verify the validity of transactions locally. The block producer packages the transaction based on priority, such as fee and size. The new block is immediately broadcast to the entire network, and other nodes perform secondary verification, discarding any non-compliant blocks. Subsequently, more blocks are added on top of this, and the cost of rollback increases exponentially. This is the meaning of final confirmation. You can think of it as a continuously tightening seatbelt. The further into the future, the tighter it becomes, and the more difficult it is to rewrite history. Today, we'll use the three steps of ledger, consensus, and confirmation to explain how blockchain works. The shared ledger provides a unified truth Consensus ensures trusted block writing, and confirmation builds an irreversible boundary. I'm Jack, and this is M Class, guiding you from beginner to expert. Thanks for watching. See you next time. In the next lesson, wallets and private keys, how to securely store your crypto assets, I'll use a real world checklist to explain mnemonic phrases, paths, authorization, and risk isolation. Stay tuned. This is M Class. Here are the 100 blockchain questions you care about most. See you next time.